The Director General of the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, Adewale Oyeride, called on Nigerians to elect right people based on their manifestos and capabilities. Oyeride made the call at a Labor Writers Association of Nigerian Lawan and the Frederick Ebert Stiftung Nigeria office jointly organized pre-workshop in Lagos in which issues on elections were thoroughly discussed. The NECA boss appealed to the people to ensure they get their PVCs ready and vote based on proper evaluation of the candidates. In his address, the Director General Michael Imodu, National Institute for Labor Studies, Ilori Kamrad Isa Aremo, said, Campaigns must be based on issues and not on issues of religion, ethnicity, and flimsy excuses. The DG said the poor implementation of the new Naira policy may have adverse effect on the forthcoming elections. In their contributions, the Chairman Lagos State Council of Nigeria Labor Congress, Fumi Sese, and the National President of the Association of Senior Staff of Banks, Insurance, and Financial Institutions, ASBIFI, calls for robust economic intervention that will ease the current burdens on Nigerians. Pointed to be accountable to the Nigerian stakeholders. And from the way CBN governor is going, the temptation is that we give him hats that office to be democratized, let it be electable, so that you have consequences for your action. So it's not that you are appointed endlessly for five years based on assumption you have autonomy, but you, you carry out policies for which little consequences are done. Once you go to the president, appoint you, take pictures, you think you are secure, but Nigerians are not secure. NLC is appealing to Nigerians. Not because anybody, anything has exchanged hand or anything, but because we don't want to take blame for a thought that the leadership are already nursing, we should not allow their thoughts, their evil thoughts, to prevail in the land. We should allow a free, fair, and credible election to take place. The CBN should have been able to make announcements that will put people at ease and be able to guide them appropriately in how they should go about what they are doing. And while they are doing that, also have engagement with stakeholders in the country. And we are talking about banks, we are talking about the people who provide infrastructure to allow the cashless economy to work, we are talking about the fintechs, we are even talking about representatives of the masses.